I've never heard it so loud. It's always funny and scary. It sounds crazy. Yeah. Pack of walls.
So there's basically two IDs on the table now for a workshop. Um, a full-on log cabin with a stone roof. And another ID is a similar design but with stone pillars. So the walls don't have to be that uh, strong to carry the roof. I think these cabins are from Val d'Aosta. Uh, which is a valley north from Turin, not too far from here. Um, I like both IDs. A log cabin is very beautiful, probably with a little stone wall underneath to uh, integrate some of the stonework to kind of link it with these buildings and it saves wood because the wood is going to cost me here because this is a lot of wood. Um, and the stone roof is not going to be as like this one. I will uh, have to uh, get stones from the quarry and I'll probably get slightly thinner ones and smaller, which are easier to handle. Because um, that what makes this roof difficult to build is the different sizes and just the very big ones, which you can't carry.
Okay, the floor is nearly done. Only the shower section I have to do. I made a start on cladding these walls. I'm only going to do the lower ones because I think it's going to be too much over there. And it will always look a little bit fake because it's you can just see it's not a real stone wall. I think their wood paneling is going to be nice in a, like a dark stained color or like a very dark forest green I think can be beautiful. And then topped off with a, a shelf. Uh, it will soften it down a little bit more. But I have to get more cement. Uh, the snow is melting and tomorrow I probably have to pick up the car so I'm gonna go for a hike down. Um, yeah, that's going well. What are you eating? Huh? This dog shows up a few times a year and I still don't know where it's from. Never seen the owner.
Yeah, this is turning out nicely. I use this uh, sponging method, um, which works great if you're grouting like tiles which are smooth and flat and have a little grout. But with this, it looked like it was just going to be a cement floor, but um, because it took a long time to get it clean, because when you're sponging, you're kind of like spreading everything out. And this surface is, it has a lot of texture and the, the, the joints are quite wide, so it just took forever. You have to clean your water, sponge it off, clean your water. And, uh, but it's turning out well. But I think uh, as I continue, I'm going to use more like a pointing method where I'm filling the gaps, keeping the stones clean and let it set for a little while, like an hour or so and then start cleaning it up and sponging so I have less waste and it will be not such a hard job to get stones clean because you get like a lot of residue in between the crevices but it looks alright happy with this